Hi everybody, I'm Kyle Glacken and thanks for watching ZG Outdoors. We're out here right now doing some summertime blacktail scouting, but on today's episode you're going to see something completely different than anything we've ever done before. We're headed down to La Pampa, Argentina to chase red stag and water buffalo. It's an exciting hunt. I hope you enjoy. For the water buffalo, it's uh, during this time of the year they kind of tend to herd up. It's, it's like their mating season. So basically, it's about trying to find the herd. And the big males, the big bulls, will be uh, circling around that herd. There will be a lot of eyes observing. Yeah. It's gonna be it's gonna be fun. Yeah. Uh, we need to kind of make our plans on on the way. Every opportunity will be different. We usually think that they have uh, a very calm uh, what you say? manner. Manner. Yeah. Uh, you must not be fooled by that because even though they have, like most animals have uh, a safety zone that they feel comfortable. Even if you, they see you, they'll keep an eye on you. Uh, but as long as you don't invade that area of them, okay. you'll be okay. They'll keep an eye on you, but nothing is going to happen. In our case, with a bow, we need to get close and personal, and let's say anything under 50 yards to a buffalo is a menace. So we need to do things in a very good way yeah. just to stay safe. Okay? It's going to be so it be exciting. Yeah. Exciting. <laughs> Fair. Well, we're looking forward Fair. to it. Okay, here's day one of our water buffalo hunt in Argentina. Um, it's quite an adventure getting here. Um, missed our connecting flight, but you know, that's all behind us. We're ready to get out there and get after these big water buffalo. Paco was telling us these are um, tough animals. He said that rarely do you take one down with one arrow, even if a good vital shot. So uh, we're going to go shoot the bow for a little while, and make sure that's dialed in and then head out after these big water buffalo. They're about uh, 1,500 pound animals, so uh, should be a good challenge for us. spotted some buffalo. The wind's just right. The only issue we have is some cattle down there. We're going to give it a try.
uh, we got about 25 yards away and uh, we just saw some movement you know, we were just too close but we had to keep going because there was too much brush in the way so we had to go up for closer shot we kind of knew they'd probably see us but not much you can do so we tried it they saw us they're off they're hanging out about 200 yards now so we'll try it again as ZG Outdoors, we hunt all over the world, and there's one thing we take extremely seriously, our camouflage. And there's one company that we trust to keep our gear secluded because they've proven themselves time and time again. Okay, I'm on him. Over the next few days, we had a hard time getting everything to come together, but we had some great encounters and saw some amazing animals. say as people we create our own luck and we noticed our luck was changing as we caught a break that none of us expected. stag in Argentina. It doesn't get any better than that. That's a good one, huh? Oh, that's a beautiful animal. Look at the mass. Yeah, it goes all the way up to the tines. He's beautiful. It's perfect. Beautiful. One of the best of this season, for sure. Oh, that's a lot of fun. We've been out here hunting buffalo for three days now, and 
We've been close every single day. You know, Paco's working his butt off trying to get us into those animals. And we've been as close as 15 yards to them buffalo, but you know, when you got 60, 70 eyes looking at you, it's pretty tough to get a shot. And then, so we came out this morning, tried to find the herd, and Paco spotted this guy standing off to the side and uh, borrowed his rifle and down he went. Game over. Yeah. Great what shot. A, Great yeah. shot. What a beautiful animal. stag and he's at his prime I mean he, he was not gonna get better than that mm -hmm. from here it started declining yeah. Yeah. No, no. Mm -hmm. perfect 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 I just can't get over that one of the great benefits to being an outdoorsman here in the Pacific Northwest is that we are spoiled with some of the most amazing tasting game and fish meat that the United States has to offer. And when it comes time to fire up the smoker, we only use smoking hot chips and chunks because their top quality wood products are grown, harvested, and manufactured right here in the Pacific Northwest, including the world famous alder. Go online and visit their website where you will find recipes including Uncle Pokey's world famous stuffed backstrap. You won't be disappointed. Here's a nice tasty Idaho whitetail and the only thing that will make it taste better is some smoking hot chips and chunks. Go online and order your box today. find them if you don't try, right? <laughs> That's right. You've been, you've been working your butt off. I mean, when you can see horns from this distance. Yeah. Yeah, he's got, he's a big animal too. Okay, you guys ready? Yeah. Let's see what, let's see what we can do. Yeah, go ahead. I hit him good. He's down. He's down. He's down. Oh, he's down. <laughs> Did you get him going down? Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, 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 wait. You loaded? Yeah. Back 
Well, we just, uh, think we just shot the bull that we've been chasing all week long. You know, we just, we wanted to do it with a bow, but, uh, we were on them and on them and on them. I mean, we were, we were in bow range, I don't know, this week, five, six times at least. But the wind would swirl or they, you know, you got 30 something animals looking at you. And, uh, so it's tough to get, make it happen. We, we didn't have that much time. We got here a day late, basically lost a half a day of hunting because of our airplane. Lost more than a half a day uh, with that red stag we shot. And, uh, but we wanted to hold out for this big boy. And tomorrow's our last day and we got a bunch of work to do. And uh, So we decided, yeah, if we saw this big one, we were just gonna go ahead and take it with a rifle if we couldn't get in bow range. And, got down here and saw them coming in and they just basically come right up a little trail right where we were at and uh, we got him. He came in a little too far for bow range but uh, plenty okay for the brownie. Did the job. That ain't a big one. <laughs> He's big. Paco thinks so too. Uh. Alright buddy. Good job. All right, here we are with our uh, Argentina water buffalo. You know, we've hunted all week, um, and these things are tough to hunt with a bow. We've been in bow range, I don't know how many times this week, and, you know, something always happened. The wind swirled, or one of them spotted us, or we moved wrong, or just whatever, and um, we just couldn't couldn't make it happen but we were getting close every day every day we were close we were worth 20 yards of animals every day sometimes two three times a day and we seen this guy earlier in the week and this is the one we wanted we really wanted to get this guy and here it is the uh, last day of the hunt and we thought you know what this would be the only animal that we were going to shoot with a rifle if we couldn't get in bow range just so happened the last five minutes of daylight, shooting light, uh, this big boy came out. We tried to get close enough with the bow, you know, but with only a few minutes to work with, we just, there wasn't time. So we decided to go ahead and take him with a rifle and uh, it all worked out. One, one good shot and then a follow-up shot and he went right down maybe 75 yards. And it's just been a fantastic trip. And um, these things are awesome. You got to come try this. It's a lot of fun. Paco, get in here. And here's the guy that made it all happen. Paco's worked his butt off all week. You know, he's got me so close to these animals every day. And uh, he just never gave up. You know, it's just, a, like I said, the last few minutes of the hunt, and he was just, we were going and going and going and trying to catch up with something. And uh, he spotted these guys, you know, from about 300 yards away, and we moved in, and we made it happen. Oh yeah, he's yeah. a big boy. Huge, huge. <laughs> he's the big boy we were after. He, yeah, all week. Yeah, we've we've seen this guy a couple times, and he's pretty massive. So we're pretty happy. Uh, thank, thank you very welcome. much. My pleasure. All right. Good. With one day left in Argentina, we decided to head out and see if we couldn't do a little predator control and maybe get lucky on another water buffalo. Spotting some buffalo in the afternoon, Paco decided to make a move, and as we came up over a little hill, the buffalo had moved farther than we thought, and we were right on him. That one right in front of you? Yeah. 
Wait for a good shot. Bounced out, didn't it? I didn't hit him in the shoulder, did I? There's how far it went in. It didn't look like it hit it in the shoulder though. No. Let's, let's watch it again. I just shot one. I didn't get real good penetration, but the shot looked really good. Look, I hit him right behind the shoulder. So we're gonna go find it. See if we can find it. in front of us. Didn't have hardly time to get ready. Jumped into position. Shot and it looked like it was a bad shot but we watched the video and it was a good shot. We caught up to him and blood's pouring out. So now he's stopped up there and we think he's down because the cows keep circling him. We can see him. See him in the brush but we can't tell if he's down or if he's up. I think he's down. That's pretty awesome. We did, you know, we just been goofing around today. We, we shot a fox, we shot a, a, the birds, we've seen pigs, we've seen all kinds of stuff today. And then about 45 minutes ago, we got out, we saw some buffalo and they took right off. So we we're gonna try to head them off. So we were going through the woods here. Here they come, they come right at us. And that sucker was about 35 yards away. And a shot. And it looked like the arrow just bounced right off him. Like it had a lead jacket on or something. I thought, oh man, I must have hit it in the shoulder. But I was sure I hit behind the shoulder. And uh, so he went up there and I only, <laughs> I only had about that much penetration in a buffalo that are this wide. That's not very much. So we were worried. And we watched the video again and we could tell that we it was a good shot. I, it, I must have just hit a rib and had a funny angle or whatever. And so we finally caught up with him again and he was just pouring the blood out. I mean, it was just, I don't know how an animal can go that far with that much blood. I mean, it was just, it was like pumping out. Just pump, 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 pump. And <laughs> oh, oh, this is a man right here. <laughs> hey guys, <laughs> this fun or what? <laughs> that was awesome. I mean, look where he, look where he ended up. I mean, look at that view out there. Just crazy. And, uh... Wow, that's why we shoot them. Well, we finally did it. Um, came down here to Argentina with the goal in mind to kill a, a water buffalo with a bow. Next year we're going to go for Cape Buffalo in um, uh, Africa. This was a great, uh, if you want to say a warm up or a training, because these, these things are just as mean, they're bigger bodied, and uh, they're just as tough to get to. Uh, and we did it. We just, we never quit and we just got it done. So uh, stay tuned for the next adventure on ZG Outdoors.
Here we are in Argentina with a huge water buffalo. This thing's probably 1,800 pounds. I mean, they are just massive. So if you'd like to get in some of this action, please call Dale Matthews at Iron Mountain Adventures, and he'll hook you up. It's a great deal. Um, you can't beat it. It's a fun trip. There's all kinds of animals here to look at, uh, hunt, and uh, you'll have a great time.